Word 2010 is the word processing application in the Microsoft Office 2010 suite that allows you to create various types of documents such as letters, brochures, pamphlets and flexes. In previous classes, you have learned the basics of working with text so that you can type, edit and format text. Now you will learn some advanced features of MS Word 2010. Adjust page margins. Margins are the space between the edge of the paper and the text. By default, Word sets all margins left, right, top and bottom to 1 inch. If you will type complete page, Word will leave 1 inch margin from all sides. You can adjust the right, left, top and bottom margins of your document. Open the document whose margins you want to set. Click the Page Layout tab and click Margins button in the Page Setup group. This will display a list of options. Click Custom Margins option available at the bottom. You can also select any of the predefined margins option from the list. It will display a page setup dialog box as shown below. You can set top, left, right and bottom margins under the margins tab. Select apply to option to apply the margin on selected text or whole document and click OK. Headers and footers. Headers and footers are parts of a document that contain special information such as the document title, company logo, any photo, page numbers and the total number of pages, etc. The header appears at the top of every page and the footer appears at the bottom of every page. Insert header. Click the Insert tab and click Header button. It will display a list of built-in headers from where you can choose any of the headers by simply clicking on it. The headers will be applied to the document in editable mode and the text in your document will appear as dimmed. Header and footer tools will appear on the ribbon and a close header and footer button will also appear at the top right corner. Type the information you want to have in your document header. Click close header and footer button to come out of the header insertion mode. You will see final result as follows. You can also follow a similar procedure to add footer in your document. Edit header and footer. Following are the simple steps in case you want to edit existing header or footer of your document. Click the insert tab and click either header button or footer button whatever you want to edit. When you click header button it will display a list of options including edit header option. Click on it and word will display editable header for you. Now you can edit your document header. When you are done click Close header and footer button to come out of edit header mode. You can follow a similar procedure to edit footer in your document. Add page numbers. Microsoft Word automatically assigns page numbers on the pages of your document. Typically, page numbers are printed either in header or footer, but you have option also to display the page numbers in the left or right margins or at the top or the bottom of a page. Click the Insert tab and click Page Number button available in Header and Footer section. This will display a list of options to display page number at the top, bottom, current position, etc. When you move your mouse pointer over the available options, it displays further styles of page numbers to be displayed on the page. For example, when you take mouse pointer at bottom of page option available under page number, it displays list of styles as shown. Select the page number style which you like by clicking over it. Click close header and footer button. You can format your page numbers using format page numbers option available under the page number listed options. Remove page numbers. Following are the simple steps to remove page numbering from a Word document. Click the Insert tab and click Page Number button available in Header and Footer section. Click Remove Page Numbers option. It will delete your all the page numbers set in your document. Spelling and Grammar Check Microsoft Word enables you to search and correct all spelling and grammar mistakes in your document. Word identifies misspelled or misused words as well as grammatical errors and underlines them as follows. A red underline beneath identifies spelling errors. A blue line underline 
identifies correctly spelled but misused words. A green underline beneath identifies grammatical errors. Check spelling and grammar using a review tab. Here is the simple procedure to find out spelling mistakes and fixing them. Click the review tab and then click spelling and grammar button. A spelling and grammar dialog box will appear and will display wrong spellings or grammar and corrected suggestions as shown below. Options to fix the spelling mistakes. Ignore once. If you are willing to ignore a word, then click this button and word ignores the word once. Ignore all. Also like ignore once, but ignores all occurrences of the same misspelling, not just this one. Add to dictionary. Choose add to dictionary to add the word to the word spelling dictionary. Change. This will change the word using the suggested correct word. Change all. Also like change but changes all occurrences of the same misspelling, not just this one. Autocorrect. If you select a suggestion, Word creates an autocorrect entry that automatically corrects the spelling error from now on. Check spelling and grammar using right click. If you right click over a misspelled word, then it would show the correct suggestions and options already explained to fix the spelling or grammar mistake. Try it yourself.